Hello guys, welcome back to the Labor Factory, I'm your host, the Labor Worker, and welcome back to Metro Exodus, the two colonels. We just got back from a briefing with the general, before that we were bur out burning way slime, and we are playing as Colonel Klebnikov. Hello, Colonel, sir. A happy new year to you. Thank you. Happy new year. On duty tonight, I feel for you. You know, sir, it could have been worse. Hmm. Yeah, at least guarding the green stuff storage isn't a hard job, really. Though I hope nobody's planning the heist of the century on New Year's Eve, huh? <laughs> well, let's hope so. Let's hope that nobody is. <laughs> You're right. Well, good night to you. Thank you, Colonel, sir. Come on, pull. Hello, sir. There's too many people in the way. You can't really go through. You'd better go up through the restaurant and get to the gallery from there. Okay. Thanks. Happy New Year. Same to you, Colonel, sir. Ah, uh, you know what I'm missing to get into proper festive mood? Like before the war. Oranges. Oh, damn. Why did you have to remind me? Oh, now I'll spend the whole night thinking about them. Huh. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just that I've been thinking about them non-stop for three days already. Perhaps we could think about them together. Wow. You know, Vanya, you're so self-centered, it's amazing. Why am I even in love with you? Because of my immense charm, of course. And he looks like Powell from so. the back. Ah, sometimes I think kids have it easier. They don't even know the things they're missing. Like the oranges. You don't even see that color anymore. And the smell? The taste? Damn. It can't hurt to drink to it twice. I'm just not in the festive mood at all. They're always late with grease. You filthy drunkard! Just look at yourself, you pig! What now? Look, Tanya, I just... So this is the new year. Your children have nothing to eat, and you drink your wages away. Oh, come on, Tanya. Come on. Just look. Look at what your son has to wear. Look at what I have to wear. There's no food at home. Do you understand that? Well, your help. I am in debt to your everyone. Help. I can't even look the your neighbors help. in the eye. Do you even care about us? You're a disgrace. You drunk everything away. All the green stuff you got. They didn't give much the greedy bastards. And anyway, come on. It's the New Year's. Oh, this was so you stop. Slime. Wow. A disgrace. Why did I ever marry you? <laughs> Jeez. We are celebrating here. Come join us, sir. Uh, Carry on. I'm going home. Happy New Year. Thank you, Colonel, sir. Give our regards to Kirill. Looks like everybody knows about my Happy kid. Happy New Year, sir. Thanks. By the way, it's been a while since I last saw Sasha from the third company. Do you know the guy? The one with big ears. He also keeps telling ancient jokes all the time, don't he? What's up with him? Huh. Something is for sure. They sent him topside to guard the construction crews. Construction crews? Are they building a new storehouse? No. The road. Huh? Which one? Damn, the secret one! Ah! You could have told! Shh! Loose lips sink ships! The enemy listens! Or actually the friend, which is even worse! <laughs> huh. Happy New Year, Colonel Klebnikov. Thank you. Same to you, Misha. How about a drink? The first one is on the house tonight. Uh, tempting, but no, thanks. Suit yourself. You could drop by later once you put your kid to sleep. We'll be open till dawn.
Uh, Misha, don't close till the cows come home tonight. If you're running out of booze, just buy all the baldy stuff. Everyone's got a piss dr drunk by that time. Never noticed the change in taste anyway. The thing is, they're cutting the green stuff allowance by half starting January. We're gonna make what we can while, while we still can. The tip is out, coming from the very top, Boris. Look, one day we are going to go outside, are we not? We are not moles to live out our lives underground, you know. So, say we go outside and meet the army. Some units must have remained. I can't believe we're the only ones. Hmm. Oh, what a surprise! Drink to the new year with us, Colonel, sir. Hello, sir. Join us, please. We'd be happy. Sorry, guys. Uh, sorry, guys, but I gotta get home see my son. Happy New Year to you all. Ah, uh, thank you, sir. Thank you, Happy sir. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you, too. Okay. So, who you meet? And they ask you to introduce yourself. So, you say, who? Plenty beautiful as you are. Let's go. It's real weird, like. We do have Lieutenant Nikov listed in this book here, but no Major. So you should take those extra stars off and stick them with his son, don't shine. Ah, that's bullshit. Really? They could court-martial you for being an imposter of a captain. Hmm. Bah, what the hell is up with that? What army are you talking about? We would have heard if it was around. It's been 20 years. Every unit is either just like us at this point. Come on, we're gonna be late. Start hiding it, then start shooting you in the back. And when it becomes obvious that nuclear winter is coming, your unit is bound to disband itself, leaving just a few disjointed games behind. Hmm. There's chaos, insubordination, desertion, marauding, banditry all around. Well, yeah, that's Each what happened in the Caspian. The for, and then all leadership vanishes like it was never there in the first place. You saw it all happen. Nobody knows what to do. Everybody acts on initiative, and the next moment you know, another lieutenant just like you becomes your sworn enemy because he wants the same tanker of fuel you're having. You don't need me to tell you this. Do you think it was different anywhere else? I'm telling you, huh. we were lucky to have found a shelter. That's true. We huh. were. How about... We drink to luck. Ah, yes. Huh. Ooh, oh, ooh. Here it goes. All right. Five more minutes an hour Oh. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> what do we got here? Oh, hello. Yay, Dad! <laughs> I bet you didn't expect an ambush here. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Great disguise, Private. Though I must ask, where is your citrep? Oh, the mission of helping prepare the celebration is almost accomplished. 
there's just one light bulb remaining, sir. At ease, Private. I'll help you. Happy New Year, Dad. I didn't think you'd make it in time. You were late for my birthday. And Mom's anniversary, too. You see, I was just doing my best to make sure there were as few sad anniversaries in other families as possible. Oh, I understand. Good to hear that. Now, turn it on. Yeah. Mission accomplished. Good job, Private. Thank you. Oh, Dad, I have something for you. Here, Ooh. Petrovich helped me fix it. Huh. Oh, thank you, son. That is really good. Speaking of Petrovich, as soon as the official celebration is over, all personnel are to wash their faces and arrive at Petrovich's place wearing dress uniform. Yay! Arrive at Petrovich's clean face and dress uniform. Roger that, Corona, sir. Wow. The tree is so beautiful. But it's not yes. a real tree. Listen. Oh, the general. He's gonna give a speech. Dear citizens of Krasny Prospect, and our guests from other stations. Year 2034 is almost over. It wasn't an easy year, but all the hardship only served to make us close our ranks around our common goal. The well-being of everyone living down here in the tunnels. We are all looking forward to the coming year, expecting change for the better, and it is sure to arrive to our concerted effort as a community. On behalf of OSCOM leadership, I thank you all for your good work and wish you a happy new year. Happy 2035! Wow. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1! Happy Aww. New Year! That's that's nice. Damn, this sucks. The damn generator is out again. Aww. Do you read me over, Colonel? Over. Hold on. What the fuck? Oh, finally, we got it fixed. Ooh. I'm at the trading stores. Where is that passage to Sibirskaya? It's downstairs. Oscom HQ used to be there. They brought the green substitutes from the people there. I see. Confiscations. Huh. Miller is using his own, uh... Thing... His own experience from things he's seen. Like, what... What has happened down here? Found it. Thank you, Private. Citizens, we urge you to remain calm. Voluntarily submit your stocks of radio protector to the authority. Huh. Remember, our common duty is to stand together and ensure the common good of all the citizenry. May I, General? Sir. Not funny, Slava, and I'm not in the mood for jokes. What's up at Sibirskaya? We're all done there, and this is what we got. It's not much. This is bad. We're in the middle of a fallout spot, and we'll have to roast for 500 clicks at the very least. Huh. Your guys brought a bunch of maps, but there are no really safe areas on any of them. I had hopes for like Baikal, but... Still looking for Baikal. The archive is trashed. As for the radiation, that's what the filters are for. Keeping the dust out. Filters. All the carriages are so radioactive, no filters will help us without the green stuff. There will be children too. You have a son yourself, so you know children need more. I know. Do we have enough? No, that is for a big... everyone at once. 
First, we'll evacuate the core people, prepare clean rolling stock, and then bring everybody else out. So you mean we're going to split people into sorts? The ones we say first, and then the rest, you know the dregs? You stake. Our children, among all else. What's there to discuss? <laughs> Didn't expect that from you, of all people. Jeez. Think about Kirill. I, for one, thought about him. You two will be leaving with the first train. So don't fail me now. Just forget it all and take a break. Your people can handle the prospect by themselves. All right. I want another smoke. How about you? Eh, yeah, sure. Don't mind if I do. Help yourself, then. It's been a while since I had smokes like this. Hmm. The dirty stations are crawling with troublemakers. Huh. You know the story. They've been rambling about doing away with the regime and starting a new life. What and new they life? Going to catch the day. Exactly. As soon as it becomes known that we've no green stuff left, and then the rumors of evacuation start. And they will. Naturally. Exaggerated ones at that. The leadership is running away, abandoning the common folk. A chance they won't miss. Well, huh. you understand it all. We'll uphold order for as long as we can. God save us from a full-blown uprising. Ooh, Still, it didn't God go well. God favors the prepared. Keep your weapon ready, Slava. We're in for one bumpy ride. <sighs> yes, this is going to get ugly. But we don't have a choice in this. Either we save who we can, or we descend into chaos and all die. Huh. So if you do have to shoot, look at this as a war on living dead. Each rioter is an animated corpse trying to drag us into its grave. A cynical view. It cynical, is. Cynical, but realistic. But Toby doesn't go that far. Yeah. Are your people ready to do their part? Well, those who weren't all dropped out years ago. What's your take on the others? I'm not sure about some of them. We'll start quietly disbanding and disarming their units. You are risking splashing fuel on the embers. What else can I do? Damned if I do and if I don't. True enough. Yeah. <sighs> you know, I do feel drained. I guess I'll excuse myself. Of course. Have some rest while you still have a chance. I fear you haven't got long. And Slava, take care. You too, Tolia. Yeah. So, what did he say? Well, he said they understand our predicament and they value our contribution and cooperation a lot. And as soon as they get a hold of the new stock, we will be reimbursed fully and with interest, just as the paper says. Huh. He basically hinted that I had an official paper, signed and stamped, and that was the best I could have. What was your answer? What could it be? Yes, General, everything is as you say. Thank you for seeing me despite your busy schedule. You do understand that we had all our hard-earned wealth confiscated, so we are worried. He walked me to the door and shook my hand, with all respect. You weakling. What did I tell you? You had to make a stand. Really against the general? These papers are good for nothing, save for adorning the walls of fucking fools. Lady, if you really... You had to demand a real document, and I owe you from the general himself, with date and his signature. You are a respectable man, Yakov. How can you let him do this to you? No diss to that guy. Else for me. He let me know right off the bat. It's obvious, really. It's in the way he looked, his handshake. He would have declined, so I just saved face. Huh. It's just because you, Yakov, are a coward and he knew you'd give in. You just had to push back. Oh. Just, just stay here. I'll go talk to him and get the thing that we need. You'll see. Oh, I want to see Someone this. must have some balls in this family. Don't you dare. It's all done already. All said and done. My mom was right about you after all. I Jeez. Hello, sir. 
How's the situation, Sergeant? They're yeah. getting restless, sir. Our only option is to remain calm and not let ourselves be provoked. Yes, sir. Yeah. It's been two days. Cough it up already. How can they do this to us? Come on, please. Tell them to do something. You're using us like this, you bastards. Please, Colonel. Calm down, tell them citizens. To stop we'll be starting soon. We can't wait anymore. Um... I can't really do anything about that. That's not my call. Permission to address. Granted. An anonymous tip on excess stock. We can't ignore those, but he won't open the door. I see. Let's go. Let's. I feel like you like me a lot. Watch what you touch, soldier boy. Don't get excited. It will end in a heartbreak. I don't see <laughs> Just it. remember. Come over here, sir. Didn't we have a drink right over here? Do you remember? Oh God! Open up, Petrovich. Slava, come here. Thanks. Follow me, Mikhail Petrovich. Oh you know God! Why we are here. I suggest you donate your excess stock voluntarily, or there will be trouble. A kind? You know I can't do that. It is for my granddaughter. I have been saving from my own allowance. I can't do anything. We had a tip about your stock, and had to react to that. Commence the search. Check there. Oh, God. Dude! This is so unfair. I earned this. Saved my wages. I know, but it we follow the rules. I found the cash, sir. It. He does have some. I can't Not too much here, though. My granddaughter is sick. She needs that. Sure, your granddaughter. I bet it's going to the market. Colonel, tell them, please. You know it's true. Sir, this can't Enough. Be... We're only confiscating the excess stock. Yeah. But, sir, I will have to report everything. Take this to HQ and report that stopping the search was my decision. Yes, sir. What? I'm, I'm sorry. I know you didn't have a choice. Thanks for leaving me, son. I'm sorry, too. You were right about choice, though. Nobody had it. I'll be going now. <sighs> Don't you. mention it. Thank you, Slava. Enough is enough. Your quota wasn't okay. out of thin air. It was calculated properly, and you're short. Pay the rest. Officer, think about it. Where am I supposed to get so much? You took all the green stuff from the people, the trade is dead, and you saddled me with a quota fit for a mogul. Put yourself in my shoes. I have a quota as well, and nobody cares how I'm gonna meet it. Quota schmota, I can't just wish for more green stuff to appear out of thin air. And you can tell your superiors that. Colonel, sir! At ease. Lieutenant, I think we must make do with what we have. I understand, Colonel, sir. You are dismissed. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. You saved me. You had me by the throat. I kept explaining, but nothing worked. I'm so glad you just happened to be passing by. Oh, hello there. Where's the town? Your wife? Oh, she is dead. Dead? How? Why? Her heart. She had a heart problem. Oh. Always worried about things. About children. My drinking. Oh. Around the new hear here. I never knew she died. Look. Could I borrow some from you, please? Dude. I need some green stuff. I'm in mourning. Dude, nobody has. Did you see what's going on? I don't have any myself. Nobody has, really. Oscom takes it all from everyone. I can only give you my condolences and nothing else, really. Jeez. 
There's a lot of people here. Saw that? Sure, even Cuckoo from a dirty station, I gather. Or the depot. Huh? He probably thought we were swimming in green stuff here, that dumbass. Uh, how can you put it like this? I can put it even harder. They shouldn't even let this rabble in here, much less give them handouts. Shh, shh. They'll hear you. Right. Hmm. Hello, sir. Colonel, sir. Glad to see you back. I'm sorry for the mess here, but the refugees just keep coming in. The dirty stations have it real tough. Huh. The general ordered they are kept here for the moment. Then we'll pass them on. I see. Thank you, Sergeant. All right. A child? Oh, my God. Oscom, open up! Ah, hello there, Private. I'm completely drained. Okay. Kirill? Hmm. All right, Private. Tell me what's going on. Nothing. I just don't want... You don't want what? To be a Private! And I don't want to be an Oscom anymore! Right. Please elaborate on that. Yeah. I went to see Biraskaya, and I saw the soldiers taking green stuff from people. I mean, one traitor, when I give it to them, started shouting. They beat them up and took all the green stuff anyway. Oh. Ooh. Well, this is just unacceptable. First thing tomorrow, I'm going to get their names. Yeah. You said Oscom protects people, but you just take their green stuff away. Why? Oh, God. Now this is a situation... It's not easy. We're short on green stuff. That's why we must take from those who have lots of it and give to those who don't have enough. Or else the rich would just sit on their stock while the poor would all die. Could you call that fair? Not at all. Of course I couldn't call that fair. Yeah. Right. Of course those who we take from aren't happy, but there's no other way, you see? Yeah, if I had all my green stuff taken, I wouldn't be happy about that. But I understand now. Good. Still, those soldiers were wrong. I'll make sure they are punished, and then they'll have to go and apologize. Well... Yes, make them. They must apologize. But... Great. Speaking of green stuff, it's time we gave you a shot. So give me your arm. All right. Okay then. Oh, that's how they lived so long. Done. They were living on their own stock. A lot of toys. Oh, God. Chlor. Chlorine gas. Jeez. And there's Miller. His face is really shiny. Kirill, Miller here. Do you read? Over. I read you, Colonel. There's no static. Over. I hear static too. I'm entering Sibirskaya. Was this where the last battle happened? Over. Yes. I only know of it from Father's words. Right before the rioters started their last attack, we had to talk. 
Oh no. Ted, do you really have to go? We didn't rest at all. The rioters are advancing. There's no time for rest. Rioters? Tell me that. If we, Oscar, are protecting people, why lie to them? Wow. You've grown up, Private. And I'm none the wiser. So, let's have a grown-up talk. Should we tell the truth? Of course. But life is a complex thing. In the hands of our enemies, truth may be dangerous. We must carefully choose who we can entrust with it, and who we cannot. The command sees the whole picture, and makes decisions. However unpleasant those decisions might be sometimes, they are still necessary. The command thinks about everyone, while the civilians only think about themselves. That is why the truth that might scare them must be kept secret, for their own good. Do you understand that? I do, but still, this is a scary way of thinking. There are a lot of scary things in life. Yet, I brought you up well. You are strong and brave. You can take it. All right, time to go. You get home and don't step out or let anyone in until I'm back. It's an order. Yes, Colonel, sir. Yeah. Sergeant, walk him home. Yes, sir. Let's go, Kirill. All right. Okay. Good luck, son. Oh, shit. Shotgun. Oh, I don't have the quad barrel. Wait, what the fuck? Is that his bone? Oh, God. A dead dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. Just people dead everywhere. Oh, I missed one. To ask him, special department investigator. Even cursory examination bodies reveal classic symptoms of medium ra severity radiation sickness in most of the riders. Hemor hemorrhages, astrophobic uh, lesions of skin, mucous membranes, hair loss, etc. Judging by the severity of the symptoms, they stopped taking over a month ago. It's impossible to narrow it down more, though. As to that, I'd need to know the stations where they've been spending most of their time in during that period. A demon conducting unnecessary as I simply do not have personal available. Head of medical department. Slava, I'm sorry about that. I know you had no choice. <laughs> had I said nothing, they would have never believed they found Water the under the bridge. Neither I nor you had a choice in this, Petrovich. Good luck to you two. See you on the train. Thank you. Oh my god. They they died. Hello, Colonel, sir. Glad to see you back. Oh my god. Jesus. Those mostly so those are riders. Colonel, sir. Well, don't stand around. Man the defenses. Yes, sir. Oh my god. Petrovich died with his.
Oh god. Where'd they get rockets? Take the detonator. Give me cover. Yes, sir. Oh god. We got you covered, sir. Get that detonator. Yeah, 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 I know. Here it is. Come on, give me that. Give me that. God. Oh, a, cr a fried corpse is literally on me. We need to move. Coming HQ. Klebnikov here. HQ here. One charge didn't work. Damn. Fall back to Sibirskaya and stop them there. I've got no one else to rely on. Roger that. Over and out. Oh god. That dude is not in shape. Colonel, first! They blew the airlock and are coming down from the surface! Colonel! Here! Here, sir! Alright, I'm coming, I'm coming!
it can very much well be that all the dirty hold them here to the last man there won't be any reinforcements it's either us or them Come on! Oh god, oh god. Shit. Oh no. Oh no. Well, what are these riders gonna do after they kill all the Oscom leadership? Just kill what? Just die themselves? That's like. But, like, that's the thing I don't understand. Oh! There's still some dudes alive! Thanks, Dan. Hey, hey, be careful. Ugh. I'm not in best shape, but you... Come on, dude. You're in much better shape. I just had to shrug off an explosion. Oh! What the? Oh my... No. No. What the fuck? Operation successful. Pawns are all dealt with. Ready for evacuation. What? You fucker. What do you mean? Already left. What? What's going on? Recovering evacuation. Evacuation? But you just killed everyone! Soldiers! Civilians! Nobody left to evacuate! Slava, there's only enough green stuff left to evacuate the leadership. Everyone else is doomed. Gas was used just to cut the agony short. So you what? knew it. You knew it all along, you motherfucker. <coughs> Did I have a choice? What difference does it make now? I made a mistake leaving me off. <laughs> Petrov! The fucker is left without us! Get Seryoga on the line now! <coughs> what? Dead? Seryoga? Son? Now listen to me. There's an RPG in the gun cabinet. Get it and rush to the old crossroads. Blow the fuckers up there! Go! <coughs> so nobody made it out. So... What do we do now? <laughs> Whatever. I had enough. <laughs> what do you mean, had enough? <sighs> so long, Slava. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> wow. So he decided to cut his own agony short as well.
So there really are no. S These two were the only survivors of. Dad, Dad. Of. Uncle Tolia? Did he just kill himself? Why? Don't look there. I'm sorry I broke your order. There was a shooting at the station. Then it all went quiet, and you didn't come. I was worried, and I went looking for you. Listen, I told you earlier. Who should be told the truth, and who should not? Forget it. It's not for us to decide. And if you're being fooled, it's never for your own good. That's why he's dead. I... I understand. Good. And now... Let's go home, son. Oh, Miller got the car again. Oscom vehicle. Kirill, Miller here. I'm at the bunker entrance. I will kill Miller over and out. Wait, the radio? Fine, this is A older. A month Come in, earlier. Older. Oh my god. Over. Private, I'm at the bunker's door. I'll be off the grid while I'm down there. Don't know how long. When is the next scheduled radio contact? Midday sharp, Colonel. The battery? Keeping it charged. The door? Closed. I'm eating the liver too. It's burning the slime, and I don't go to the dirty stations ever. Dad, you want the whole cheat sheet for me. I'm reading off it now. You do just that. Reading helps you remember. That's all, Pine. I'm going offline. Roger that, Elder. Over and out. Pine, come in. Over. Pine here. Over. I love you, son. A whole lot. And I want you to eat that liver without fail, over and out. Huh. So we're going into the SATCOM center. We're going in with the flamethrower. Is that so? Veren. Okay. Oscom soldiers, you have accepted a mission of absolute secrecy and utmost importance. To recover a map of a region with tolerable levels of radioactive pollution. The Colonel's office locker. He wants us to go back to the comm center and get more maps so the brass and is around looking important. Nobody cares if we catch a couple. That bunker is bad news. Radiation's called the egg boiler. Then there's the mutants, too. Most of them are nothing special, but then the science blind giants. Oh, those big apes. Probably several reasons, uh, reasons several groups were missing. The place sucks, just like this mission. At least they're giving us enough green stuff. That's got a, something special nowadays. Pollution from the satellite communication center's archive. Circumstantial data suggests that special attention must be paid to maps detailing laid by Gal. So far, our efforts have been consistently proving fruitless. But now, you huh. must be successful, no matter the cost. I can't disclose the ultimate goal of this search at the moment. But I'll have you know that lives of all the metro dwellers depend on it. This thing mm. will self-destruct in five seconds. Good luck, gentlemen. Huh. No. And people have... 
people have left the map on the R cup on this whole place. Don't make noise. Okay. That's a skull. That is not good news. No, no. Radiation, no entry. Another map. Garage. Okay. When a safe All to evacuate the complex immediately. When a safety Reactor feature becomes a Wow, when a when a safety feature becomes a cop Oh my. And since the reactor is still working. It's nothing more than it really is. Jesus. Looks like I'm gonna be pushing this. If it, this is about the maps. Quite heavy. My upgraded point thrower. Oh, it's down here. All personnel are to evacuate the complex. 
jeez, what? So would each time they had to search this whole place, they sent so many people down here. Search already, no maps here. So he's the guy who's got his skull cracked, I'm guessing. Search most likely. I hear a giant. The old reports were correct. It does look, it does look like the reactor is still functioning. This palace has power. That reactor seems like to be leaking. Otherwise, where this all the radiation can become from the power doesn't make our lives much easier. Though, had it been regular, it certainly would. But as it is. It just comes on and off randomly, can't be relied on. The guys are already telling scary stories of how the souls of the dead are messing with the controls. It's all old crap, of course. This place is just rusty and rotten. So its machinery has gone a wire. Yeah, that looks like to be it. I was able to read it. Search already. No maps here. to head back now
extent. And Norm, super heavy and comfortable to use. But 10 liters. That is probably the best uh, flamethrower we're gonna get. In terms of ammo, at least. Wait. It's really counting the one the, th the fuel I already have. Flamer is my only source of light as well. Searched already, no maps here. Wow. Oh no! Oh no! Oh god! bitch. Ow! No! No! Shit! 
No, 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 no. No, what? Shit, fuck. Might as well. Oh, God. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. And I lost my flamer. Oh, God. Klebnikov? You need to get a grip of yourself. Oh. Oh. The last one. Good news, we searched the, reached the archive. Ban used the blind giants seem to have made it into their lair. Luckily, there's nobody home. So at least, took a look around. The shells are trashed, the maps are all in heaps. It's going to take us at least a few days to get anything out of this mess. And the new tenants could come back any time. Any moment. Something tells me they aren't going to be all too happy. Find us cataloging uh, the archives without their permission. To make matters worse, the radiation is off the scale in the archive. We spent a few minutes, then took a month's share of green stuff each. And, and I'm still queasy. I'll ask the colonel to arrange a bonus for us all. Otherwise, we'll all be keep glowing in the dark for months. Of course, we grabbed as many maps as we could carry while we were there. While the guys at HQ showed them out. That at least uh, would give them something to do. In any case, the mission is complete as it ever could be. And if someone thinks he can do it better, he's welcome to try. I, for one, am not sitting foot in that grave ever again, if I can help it. And we we are gonna have to be better. Oh no. Oh god. A stalker. Good Lord. Oh no. I have to do this? Oh god. Oh no. Oh god. The tenants are home, Klebnikov, be quiet! Oh god. Oh god, Kwadnikov, be careful. Wait. Could this be? Uh Kwadnikov, you might pay for that. Find out if it's the map and take your shot. It is. This is it. I found it. Oh god. It really is a graveyard. The mutants. The, the freaking giants, they eat them and there are multiple bones already. Oh god, oh god. Oh, 
Oh, no, 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 no. Go away. Go away. Oh, 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 oh. I just have to sneak under there. No, 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 no. Go away. Oh, God. A real bad head of radiation. Come on, Klebnikov, just get in! Get in! Klebnikov, no time to mess around! Oh. Alright. Maybe close the door. No, 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 no! No, 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 no. Oh my god, so that's how you met your fate. I thought, like, him not taking his shot, like, after he got the map, sort of bite him and would somehow bite him in the ass, but it, yeah. Jesus. Just being overpowered by radiation. <sighs> Klumnikov? Kirill, I'm coming back. I just need a tiny bit of rest. I'm just so tired. Huh. Oh my god. And his heart just stopped slowly. Wow. And that must be Miller. Because who else could it be? Oh my god, just saw him loaded it loading in. That but, that but that's because but solely my game is on a hard drive and not on SSD. For anybody wondering. Oh god. My PC's being just utterly tanked because my in my freaking uh, recording software is getting like really just hit by it hard. I'm sorry, I, I'm going to need to do this. I turned on tessellation because that was the old that was the thing that actually allowed me to like play the cutscenes. There you are, brother. Mm. You oh. absent and took a break, I see. That I did. I need a breather too. Boy, did these hunks of iron chief. <sighs> Gotta watch out not to stay for too long, though. <sighs> Your son sent me here, told where to look. He's tough. Your Kirill. <sighs> yes, I can see his effort. <laughs> huh. Children. It's always about them. Uh, I'm here because of my daughter. <sighs> She's smart. Strong, kind, beautiful. I can't even tell you how proud I am of her and how much I love her. I'm trying to be a father, but end up a colonel. It's as if by showing affection, I'd also show my vulnerability. That's Not a fine line. Her, to her husband, too. At first, 
I even thought that boy was all right. But his obsession with truth started driving me mad. He kept risking his life while he had the love of the best woman in the world. Huh. Decent people that, want normal that things. That Artyom did. A thicker broth, a warm place to call home, and healthy children. But he wants truth. Let me glance at those maps. Boy, was I mad at him. But then I took a closer look at the world and re-examined my life up to that point somewhat. Especially when I heard your story. I saw my past self in you, friend. We both served the great lie because we both made ourselves believe it was necessary. And if not for him, I would have ended up oh like God. you did. But now, finally, my life has a real purpose for a change. All because I can finally look the truth in the eye. I think you understand. Thank you for the maps. Don't think it was all in vain. You saved us all. That he did, actually. And Kirill? I'll give him this watch and make sure he gets out of this hellhole. You have my word. Well, it's time. Farewell, Colonel Klipnikov. Rest easy. He gave his shot to Artyom. Artyom, yes. stay with me. Hold on, son. It is kind of sad. Like, you, you would think, like, oh, maybe he found... Originally, you would have thought, like, maybe he found a second... Another shot of, uh, uh green stuff, but... You think about it, no. It was already all used up. And that was simply his own shot that he gave you. It's honestly a miracle that... If you really think about it, though, Klebnikov's sacrifice kind of needed to happen because if uh, they came here looking for the... looking for the freaking... Uh, what was it? The... The cure for Anna's uh, sickness. Artyom would have never survived until then, until he, even uh, until he got the, got to the institute, because he had to venture through some pretty thick, pretty nasty storm of uh, radiation, and he already used up his shot before that. And, uh, if, uh, and, like, yeah, his dad went out, but it, if you, th well, yes, they might have gotten the cure in the end still, but most definitely uh, Miller and Artyom would have died, unfortunately. But, uh, if, though, another thing is, like, like if Klebnikov had survived and actually gotten back, they would have, uh, they would have uh, actually just, I don't know actually how they would have escaped, but still, like, uh, they would have still needed to actually, like, uh, get out of, uh, Novosibirsk somehow. They would have probably found a way, but not the biggest thing is that, like, if they would have left and we would have gone looking for the cure, it's like, most likely we would have never been able to like uh find uh like we never would have uh perhaps even the whole crew might have not survived we don't know
but this game is definitely a It, this DLC is really just a like immense like I don't I I don't want to say story masterpiece but it is like an extremely well told story in my eyes because by God was this like something you don't see like very few times you can actually see something like this. And I would honest, I honestly would have uh, loved to see like more Metro. We are, we have, we're gonna have a Metro, Metro VR game, but that is still a ways, a, a while away. So we still have to make deal with the Metro. Replaying the OG Metro games again because like you know bad bad recordings and we still have to get through Sam's story the second DLC of this of this thing And that's another thing So yeah As a story, as a story, this uh, this DLC was extremely well done. I believe so. Like, I, I almost want to say, I wish like Metro what th this was. In some parts, I wish this was like a met the ex Metro Exodus because, well, like uh, like the whole Artyom talking bits. Like, I kind of wish that did happen, but they what. From what I understand, they want to keep tradition, tradition, but I feel like that was the like one thing that they shouldn't have like kept on going. Like Artyom uh, should have just like kept uh, should have uh, actually like talked. But unfortunate. But, um, yeah. Gameplay-wise... Uh, gameplay-wise, this was... A, admittedly, a bit of a letdown. Like, the flamer part to, like, where we have to burn away the slime is cool and all, but... Like, we only had, like, one legitimate shooting section. The other time, we just spent, uh, using the flamethrower. It is a bit of a letdown, but it did tell a really good story. Like, I think the story, like, carries it uh, quite a bit. The gameplay, while it is a bit of a letdown, but it is not completely horrible. That is what I'll, I'll, I'll say as well. Like, it is not a letdown, but it could have been better. It could have been better, in my eye. Though admittedly, I kind of wanted to play actually maybe a section or two as Colonel Miller himself, but it is interesting to like uh, to go everything from Colonel Klebnikov's perspective. But as said before, like I kind of I in a way almost did want to like play as the Miller a little bit on his journey, like maybe play his part of the journey to actually like um, getting perhaps getting to the bunker and uh, going in there like yeah it may, it may have been like a maybe a redoing reusing a section but honestly I think maybe it could have worked but I'm not a game designer, so I might be talking out of my ass. But, yeah. Honestly, story-wise, I honestly, I could, I could give this maybe an 8, 9 out of 10. 
purely story wise like as a narrative uh but gameplay wise perhaps a six or a seven like purely on the gameplay on the like action sections like the slime burning the part against the riders and this final bed in the bunker actually it, it's a seven or a six for me at least But this, this game really is like something like that was made like s truly with like heart and dedication. Like something that very few times could be replicated even m by the original developers. And from what I understood, it, like, it is loosely followed by the novel. Because, like, there are some... Uh, it's kind of a, like, some things are mixed up, so... For game... For the game... Game's purpose, of course. But, uh... It is understandable. Like, why? Like, why? But... Like, you can't always make a video game adaptation of a book, like, one-to-one. -one. Like, there's most times there will be compromises to be made. Unless you're making, uh, actually, just a goddamn visual novel. Like, that's the only, like, case, like, where you could just straight up, uh... Just straight up, um, uh, freaking... Like, do one-to-one. But if you have to do, like, uh, action games, something like this, uh, then, uh, uh, something like this, then most, most times there will be compromises, like, there's no escaping that. Quite a lot of people involved, even in marketing and all that. Oh yeah, Buka. That is a Russian localization company. Since I had, since I actually have like, or maybe it's just whatever <laughs> uh, but this game is like something I said before or when I ended the main series this game is something truly special that will very rarely be replicated again like no no question on that. But, uh, yeah. I do hope we can, uh... I do hope the next big Metro game... Like... Like, as much as I would love to play that VR game, I don't have a VR headset and it's way too uh, expensive uh, investment for me. And most likely in my PC investment, that will be not be worth it. So, I'll probably have to hold off on those. And on Half-Life Alex, most likely, as well. It would be interesting to maybe... Look, see if they make another one in this kind of a vein. Like, in this, and maybe, like, the older Metro games. But, like, unfortunately, like, how can you continue the story and it be called Metro if there's no longer a Metro 
involved. So that's why they took it to the open tracks in this one. Like it started in the started in, started in the metro tunnels, but it quickly went just like open world. And ended in the metro. So there's that as well. But yeah. Metro Exodus. The two kernels. Quite quite the work of art, I'll say. But um yeah. So anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Leave a comment if you have something on your mind. Because I would love to see what you guys have to say on this game on this DLC. It was quite the journey of Colonel Klebnikov and the lo what was the life like in Novosibirsk before everything went to shit? For them, at least. So, yeah. But quite... Quite the journey. It was... It was something I was... That was quite emotional, really. But... Emotional and heartfelt and something you very rarely get to experience again And in other medias like I would do ever Like I don't know what I wouldn't give to experience this game for the first time again And I would love to hear your thoughts on it like What would you guys think of this, but yeah? Thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like if you liked it. Dislike if you hated it. As said before, leave a comment on what you think. The summarization of the DLC, perhaps. Or just want to say hi. It doesn't matter. Because I'd love to see what you guys have to say. And uh, please do consider subscribing. And I'll see you all in the next video. But as always, stay awesome. Peace.